This is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The people, the will of the people, has been heard, and the will of the people has been heeded. We've learned again that democracy is precious, democracy is fragile. And at this hour, my friends, democracy has prevailed. So now, on this hallowed ground where just a few days ago, violence sought to shake the Capitol's very foundation, we come together as one nation, under God, indivisible, to carry out the peaceful transfer of power as we have for more than two centuries. As we look ahead in our uniquely American way, restless, bold, optimistic, and set our sights on the nation we know we can be and we must be. But the answer is not to turn inward, to retreat into competing factions, distrusting those who don't look like, look like you, or worship the way you do, or don't get their news from the same sources you do. We must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue, rural versus urban, or, or rural versus urban, conservative versus liberal. We can do this if we open our souls instead of hardening our hearts, and we can still disagree. My fellow Americans, in the work ahead of us, we're going to need each other. We need all our strength to, preserve, to persevere through this dark winter. We will get through this together, together. Look, folks, all my colleagues.